Today, a quick update on probiotics and inflammatory bowel disease based on the microbiome review in GUT, one of the top journals in the world. I'm Dr. Pinab, I'm a gastroenterologist here in Dubai and I look after patients with gut health problems, IBD, and I've been doing that for over 25 years. And one of the things I've always stressed is how important diet is, and this paper just exemplifies it. Let's focus on probiotics. Current probiotics give mixed results. In alcyclitis, some like E. coli in the cell can help maintain remission, but in Crohn's disease, standard probiotics generally don't really induce remission. Now, where things are becoming really interesting is the next generation of probiotics, also called live biotherapeutic products. Now, these are different because they are designed not to just pass through your gut, but to actually settle in and carry out specific therapeutic functions, something normal probiotics cannot do. Now, examples under trial include something called MH002, which is a six-strain human bacterial mix, which has shown early improvement in symptoms and calprotectin in UC. Another one called VE202, similarly has some effect on the GI tract. And then there is an engineered Lactococcus lactis, which is designed to release IL-10, which is something which helps calm inflammation within the gut. This is all still early age and experimental. So the take home message is clear. Diet is the first, probiotics have a limited role, but specifically in UC. And the real innovation lies in these engineered next generation microbiome products, which are coming along in the next few years.